doing well and having a fantastic day so far. For today's video, I'm going to be introducing a new series here on my channel. For a while, I have been wanting to start to include and incorporate reviews on different products here on my channel. A question that I get asked a lot of times is what I think or what my opinion is about different products that I use or that I feature in my videos. So I decided that I wanted to start to incorporate my thoughts and opinions about different products as part of my weekly upload routine. So for today's video is actually going to be the first of that series and I'm going to be reviewing the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint and also showing you swatches and just telling you my opinion about the product, how I feel about it, and whether I think that it was a good buy and worth the money or something that you should just say goodbye to and save your money for something better. So a couple of the areas that I am going to touch on as far as reviewing the product is of course the product description, what it claims to do, the price, how many shades or colors there are, showing you guys swatches of all the colors actually on my lips so that you can see how they actually look as opposed to just swatching them on my hand, and then of course giving you my opinion of whether or not I think it was a good purchase or not a good purchase. So first things first, there are 18 shades and I do have all 18 of the shades. I did purchase the original six and then when they came out with the other shades, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted and was so excited that I finally got them. I did end up purchasing the remaining shades as well. So I will be able to swatch and show you all of the shades in the collection and what they all look like. These are $4 and you can purchase them either online at lagirlcosmetics.com or I know a lot of beauty supply stores and even some drug stores sell them. In my area, I have not seen them or at least not like a display of all of them all together. So I just purchased mine offline and when you spend over, I believe $30, you get free shipping. So I didn't have to worry about paying for shipping. And then they do send them two day priority mail. So it wasn't too bad of a wait to actually get them to me. So as far as the description of the product goes, on their website it says that glazed lip paints give the intensely pigmented appearance of a lipstick with the ease and glossy finish of a lip gloss. Glaze Collection includes 18 of the most sought after trend setting colors this season while providing long lasting, hyper glossy, ultra rich color to lips. Extreme bright colors, cool and nourished lips with vitamin E and peppermint oil. And that's just what it says on their website. So before I tell you guys what I think about them, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lip swatches and then I'll be back to let you know my opinion about the Glaze Lip Paint.
Okay guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed those lip swatches and I do hope that they were helpful compared to just swatching on your hand. I do hope that seeing them actually on my lips with my full makeup done was helpful to be able to kind of see how they might look if you have a similar skin tone to mine. And by the way, on my lips right now, I am wearing the shade Daring. I didn't mention that in the beginning, but that is the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. So as far as my opinion about the product, I do think that they are very much worth the $4. I do think that for $4, the amount of product that you get in the tube is definitely very much worth it. And a little goes a long way with this product. So I do think that $4 is a really good price point and is very, very affordable. Now as far as the application, if you try to apply these straight from the tube onto your lips, you are going to have a big mess. That would probably be the only con or negative that I have about this product is that straight from the tube, it does not apply very smoothly at all. I recommend either using a lip brush or a disposable lip sponge. My preference is the disposable lip sponge, but I am all out of those. So today I did use the lip brush and there wasn't really too much of a difference. And basically the way that I applied them is I pretty much just applied it to my lips with the lip sponge and um, made sure that I applied like around the edges of my lips really cleanly. And then I went in with my finger and kind of blended it out. Um, and that worked well for me. So that would be what I would suggest. And that would be the only, um, I guess, downside to these products. But I do think that once you apply it with a lip brush or a sponge and then blend it out with your finger, it blends very seamlessly as you saw with the swatches. Now you can apply it straight from the tube, but it is just gonna be a little bit messy. So that would be the only thing that I would mention as far as the application. But they do apply very, very smoothly to the lips. They are very comfortable to wear. One thing that I don't like in lip glosses is if they are really sticky or if I feel like, like my lips are just kind of sticking together. And with these, they are very, very buttery and they apply to the lips very nicely and very smoothly and they stay on for quite a long time and they're just very smooth on the lips and very comfortable to wear. Another thing that I will mention is that in the description that I read at the beginning of the video, it did mention that they do have peppermint oil in them. When you apply them to the lips, they do kind of have a little bit of a tingly feeling to them that doesn't last very long. It's pretty much just right whenever you apply them to the lips and they do smell like peppermint. So that's definitely something that some people may really, really love and then some people may not care for as much. The feeling or the ting tingling sensation that you get on your lips is really similar to like if you apply Carmax or if you've ever tried the Buxom lip glosses, the feeling on the lips is really similar to that, um, which I also don't mind. So that would be something else that might be just a personal preference. And the smell of the peppermint only really lasts about maybe 30 seconds after you apply it and then after that you can't really smell it so like I said that's something that doesn't really bother me but definitely something that you might want to consider if you have a thing about your lip glosses smelling a certain way or about having that tingly sensation on your lips I also really like that there is such a wide color selection there are 18 shades as I mentioned and they range all the way from really really new to pink to orange to bronze to really really bold purples and deep plums and I think that that's really great because there's gonna be a color for everyone so thumbs up to you LA girl cosmetics for having so many shades to choose from I do think that that is definitely a plus because it gives all of you guys the opportunity to kind of pick and choose which ones you prefer or the ones that will work best for you. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but these glosses are very, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot, and you can kind of decide how pigmented you want them to be. So pretty much in all the swatches, I apply them pretty pigmented because I wanted you to see a true version or true view of what the colors actually look like on the lips at their most pigmented state but if you apply the color to your lips and you decide that it's a little bit too pigmented to you or for you you can just blot it with a paper towel and it still keeps a lot of the color on your lips but tones it down a little bit so i kind of like that too that you can choose 
how bold or not so bold you actually want to go with it and so it kind of gives you some versatility as far as the application and the how much of the color you actually want on your lips. So I think that that's all that I have to say about these. If you can't tell by now, I definitely give them a thumbs up. And I do think that they are a great buy and very much worth the $4 price tag. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about me adding reviews onto my channel, as well as any products that you might want me to review, anything that you may have seen in a previous video that you would like a little bit more of an in-depth or my in-depth opinion about. And please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And feel free to also leave a comment if you have the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint and let me know what you think about them or how they've worked for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.